Right boys and girls, how are we all doing? So, if you haven't checked my first Xinjiang video, feel free to do so, feel free to watch it. That was all about going to the heavenly mountains. It was freezing, freezing. This video, the complete opposite. This is about going to the hottest place in all of China. But also, I found it was by far the strictest place in terms of COVID restrictions. So, Anhui is a, a region in China. It's only had a handful of cases, right? If you've been there in the past couple of weeks, they don't let you to, to come into the city, Turpan. And also, if you haven't had a COVID test in the past three days of arrival, they don't let you in. So I went as part of a tour group and this one guy, he had his COVID test three and a half days before uh, arrival and they, they didn't let him in. So I was very fortunate and I understand it's a, a very small place. They did have COVID a while ago and I'm sure it would have been really dangerous. So completely understandable. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Leave a like and subscribe if you can. Now this tunnel might look very ordinary to you, but it is a stroke of genius and I'll tell you why. Turpan, where I am now, is very hot, very dry and hot. So the Uyghurs dug these tunnels and they created these wells you can see in the photos because they had the water flowing from the top of the mountain all the way down into the city under the tunnels and it could be distributed throughout all of Xinjiang. It's just genius. Oh, there is a river flowing underneath this city and I'm directly above it right now in this building and you can see, you can walk over it. So this place is well known for its grapes but I've come a month too early so I, I can't try it but here this is where they dry it in this little house. I heard it through the grapevine which is where I am right now I'm in the grapevine so this is so cool you've got all of these grapes which are starting to show now but they're, they're just not quite ready. Oh I really wish I could try some I'm so hungry right now. They are tiny. Okay, try, try. Oh, okay I'm gonna try one of these now. Just share. Tiny. Look at this. Let's see what it's like. That is very sour. That is not nice at all. But you, you can tell it's a grape. That is not nice. You have to wait a good bump for that. Right, we've got to try some of this homemade ice cream. This looks so good. Ah, uh, This we're going for this restaurant now, a local restaurant, get some food. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the main dish, the, the main specialty they have in Xinjiang. This is called the big chicken plate. And yeah, it is huge. So we're all going to share this now. Mm, this food is really good, but it's so stuffy and I'm really full already. Shan Mountains which has got loads of snow and right here just in front of it is the Flaming Mountains the hottest place in China right so you cannot touch the actual rock of the mountain uh, it's a I, I think it's around 60 or 70 degrees Celsius and there's a, a very famous legend the mountain used to be on fire right maybe thousands of years ago and these monkeys would save the day the monkeys would climb the mountain and they had this huge fan, okay? And they did it 49 times, they'd wafted it 49 times. Like, whoa, 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 49 times. And yeah, they, they blew it out and they were the heroes. And also there's another legend, right? So the, in the Tian Shan mountains, the, the snowy ones, 
there was a dragon and the Uyghur locals would climb it and kill the dragon. They, they cut it to pieces and its blood went all over these flaming mountains. So the blood would cover it and that's why you have different levels of colour for the mountain. You go red, orange and yellow. Right, so this is the monkey that saved the day. He's like human-like, isn't he? Anyway, he asked this old guy for the fan. And here we go. This is the monkey king with his big fan. It's like a huge leaf. And here he is, he's blowing all the flames away, all the flames away and gone. Bam, the tremendous thermometer. And it shows how hot the mountain is right now. 65 degrees, I think it reads. That is absolutely insane. I've never been somewhere that hot. Wow, 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 wow. Let me see how long I can touch this for. <laughs> no. Ah, that is ridiculous. It's so hot here, the locals cook their food on the floor, on the sand. They get an eggshell and they'll put it on the floor, on the sand, and then it will cook in a matter of minutes. That's their lifestyle. What did I tell you guys? What did I say? That this country, I mean, even Xinjiang itself has got so many different places. I'm right now in the desert. So this is so fun. It's just ridiculous, the temperature right now. It is so, so hot. I cannot bear it. You see those films where people get lost in the desert. I, I can't even imagine spending hours here. It's just too much. I, I would go insane. Oh, I'm absolutely dying right now. I've been here, I don't know, probably an hour or so now. And our driver has just left. He's abandoned us. So we're here by ourselves because he has to get a COVID test, would you believe? Which is a bit worrying. And he'll be back in two hours. So uh, I've run out of water. It is ridiculously hot. So I don't know how I'm going to survive. Guys, this is the end of it for me. I'm lost. I've lost everyone. I don't think I can make it. I mean, you're, you're not going to see this video. I, I don't know why I'm recording. This is it. Ah, I'm messing with you. I'm here. I've made it to the car. It's all good. It's going back now. <laughs>